One, a day in the life of reading. The alarm goes off at four thirty. I get up and go down to the kitchen to boil some water for my morning tea. I drink several cups of tea, have a quick breakfast, and then lead the buffalo to the field. It takes me forty-five minutes to get ready. I leave the house at a quarter past five, and arrive in the field at exactly five thirty. I plow and harrow my plot of land, and at a quarter to eight, I take a short rest. During my break, I often drink tea with my fellow peasants and smoke local tobacco. I continue to work from a quarter past eight till ten thirty. Then I go home, take a short rest, and have lunch with my family at eleven thirty. After lunch, I usually take an hour's rest. At two thirty in the afternoon, we go to the field again. We repair the banks of our plot of land. Then my husband pumps water into it while I do the transplanting. We work for about two hours before we take a rest. We finish up our work at 6 p.m. We have dinner at about 7 p.m. Then we watch TV and go to bed at about 10 p.m. Sometimes we go and see our neighbors for a cup of tea. We chat about our work, our children, and our plans for the next crop. Although it's a long day for us, we are contented with what we do. We love working, and we love our children. The alarm goes off at four thirty. I get up and go down to the kitchen to boil some water for my morning tea. I drink several cups of tea, have a quick breakfast, and then lead the buffalo to the field. It takes me forty-five minutes to get ready. I leave the house at a quarter past five, and arrive in the field at exactly five thirty. I plow and harrow my plot of land. And at a quarter to eight, I take a short rest. During my break, I often drink tea with my fellow peasants and smoke local tobacco. I continue to work from a quarter past eight till ten thirty. Then I go home, take a short rest, and have lunch with my family at eleven thirty. After lunch, I usually take an hour's rest. At two thirty in the afternoon, we go to the field again. We repair the banks of our plot of land. Then my husband pumps water into it while I do the transplanting. We work for about two hours before we take a rest. We finish up our work at six p.m. We have dinner at about seven p.m. Then we watch TV and go to bed at about ten p.m. Sometimes we go and see our neighbors for a cup of tea. We chat about our work, our children, and our plans for the next crop. Although it's a long day for us, we are contented with what we do. We love working, and we love our children. Unit One: Listening. Hello, everyone. My name is Lum. I'm a cyclo driver in Ho Chi Minh City. I usually have a busy working day. I get up at 5:30 in the morning. I start work at 6. My first passenger is usually an old man. I take him from District One to District Five. After I drop him at a cafe near Ho Chi Minh City College of Education, I pedal to Tai Bing Market. My next passenger is a lady who does shopping there every two days. I help her put all her purchases into the cyclo, and then I take her to her shop in Chan Hung Dao Street. At about ten thirty, I ride off towards Nguyen Thi Minh High School. There, I park my cyclo, chat with some of my fellows, and wait for my third passengers. They are two school pupils, a girl and a boy. I take them home. At twelve. I have lunch at a food stall near Bentang Market. After lunch, I park my cyclo under a tree, take a short rest, 
and then continue my afternoon's work. Listening Hello everyone, my name is Lum. I'm a cyclo driver in Ho Chi Minh City. I usually have a busy working day. I get up at 5.30 in the morning. I start work at 6. My first passenger is usually an old man. I take him from District 1 to District 5. After I drop him at a cafe near Ho Chi Minh City College of Education, I pedal to Tai Bing Market. My next passenger is a lady who does shopping there every two days. I help her put all her purchases into the cyclo, and then I take her to her shop in Chan Hung Dao Street. At about 10.30, I ride off towards Nguyen Thi Ming High School. There I park my cyclo, chat with some of my fellows, and wait for my third passengers. They are two school pupils, a girl and a boy. I take them home. At 12, I have lunch at a food stall near Bentang Market. After lunch, I park my cyclo under a tree, take a short rest, and then continue my afternoon's work. Unit 1 Pronunciation Listen and repeat. I Hit Bit Little Kick Click Interest E Heat Beat Meet Repeat Read Eaten Practice these sentences. 1. Is he coming to the cinema? 2. We'll miss the beginning of our film. 3. Is it an interesting film, Jim? 4. The beans and the meat were quite cheap. 5. He's going to leave here for the Green Mountains. 6. Would you like to have meat, peas, and cheese? Pronunciation Listen and repeat. I Hit Bit Little Kick Click Interest E Heat Beat Meet Repeat Read Eaten Practice these sentences. 1. Is he coming to the cinema? 2. We'll miss the beginning of our film. 3. Is it an interesting film, Jim? 4. The beans and the meat were quite cheap. 5. He's going to leave here for the Green Mountains. 6. Would you like to have meat, peas, and cheese? <laughs> 